Uh, welcome to JC Connect. Yesterday we solved some problems uh, based on the cement motor calculation and uh, today also we'll go for a little bit uh, different problems uh, um, related to the quantity of cement required uh, for the brick masonry work. See uh, the problem number three. Calculate the quantity of cement required in bags for the following items. First one A. That is brick masonry in cement mortar of 1 is to 3 for 15 cubic meter of work using 0.2 meter cube of cement mortar required for 1 meter cube of brick work. See uh, they have given this is a brick masonry work. So total uh, total brick masonry work is quantity if you calculate it means wall wall volume if you calculate it brick wall volume if you calculate it it will be 15 cubic meter and the cement mortar which you are using it for binding that uh, masonry work that is 1 is to 3 and normally 1 meter cube of brick work it requires 0.2 meter cube of cement mortar uh, that is the meaning of the first line second one rcc of 1 is to 2 is to 4 for 20 meter cube of work it is similar to the previous problem which we have solved it now uh, come to the uh, point number one that is a uh, for 1 meter cube of brick work you requires 0.2 meter cube of cement mortar so now for 15 meter cube of brick work so how much it is required so now 15 into 0.2 that is so 3 meter cube of cement mortar is required so now we got the total volume of the cement mortar once you got the uh, total volume of the cement mortar now it is easily you can calculate the how much quantity of cement required with the previous uh, by considering the previous example so now uh, the quantity of cement required in bags that is 1 by 3 i already said that it is not 4 it is it is not 1 by 4 it is 1 by 3 but when you are calculating it for rcc you have to add all those ratios and you have to uh, divide it in the denominator so now the quantity of cement required in bags is 1 by 3 that is 1 mm, cement that is cement 1 by 3 multiply by 3 3 stands for that is uh, 3 meter cube of cement mortar is required then 144 four, that is the density of uh, um, uh, that is the density of what uh, that is the density of the, uh, the cement mortar and divided by 50 kg means uh, 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 one bag of cement it requires 50 uh, kgs now uh, if it come coming around 28.8 bags it is similar to the previous problems only you have to calculate here how much uh, quantity of um, uh, uh, volume of cement mortar is required initially so uh, second that is the quantity of cement required in bags that is for the rcc work for the second one so that is 1 is to 2 is to 4 they have given now we have to add it that is 1 plus 2 plus 4 that is 7 so 1 by 7 into multiply by 1.52 that is uh, um, uh, 1 why you are multiplying 1.52 here it is 1 meter cube of uh, dry uh, uh, cement uh, uh, that is a uh, mix uh, dry mix equal to uh, 1.52 uh, uh, kg of uh, uh, the, uh, uh, wet mix so therefore we are multiplying with 1.52 it is uh, similar to the previous problem 1 by 7 into multiply by uh, 1.52 into 20 that is means 20 meter cube of work into multiply by again 1440 divided by 50 so now we are getting here total 125 bags so uh, only here you think that uh, um, for cement motor work they have given um, for if they have given total volume of the brick masonry work make sure that uh, whether it's a brick masonry work or whether it is a total quantity of cement mortar similarly go to the uh, the problem number four so calculate the quantity of cement required in bags for the following items 
first one is cement concrete that is uh, 1 is to 4 is to 4 uh, by so here user here he is using uh, uh, the bars um, which is of uh, 40 mm and HP, HBG company uh, they are using it uh, for that uh, total quantity of volume it is uh, total 30 meter cube of work and the second one is masonry work so 1 is to 5 uh, for 0.34 meter cube of cement mortar for 1 meter cube of masonry work for 20 meter cube of work means um, for 1 meter cube of masonry work it is consuming 0.34 meter cube for 20 that is 20 meter cube of work how much it is required uh, that is not 20 meter that is 20 meter cube of work this is similar problem uh, like uh, your previous problem so um, in the first case that is a uh, of course uh, here we have to add all those things 1 plus 4 plus 8 that is 13 you will get it so that is why total quantity of uh, cement required that is 1 by 13 into 1.52 that is uh, the dry, dry mix and wet mix relation multiply by for total 30 meter cube of work and 1440 divided by 50 that is 101 bags of cement is required so in the first uh, problem first a um, work uh, he has mentioned 40 mm H hb that is the 40 mm bar it is no way connection with uh, the quantity of cement required so don't confuse with that data the second one is um, for one meter cube of uh, uh, rr masonry uh, it is required 0.34 meter cube of cement mortar that is one is to five for 20 meter cube how much it is required so total 6.8 meter cube of uh, cement mortar is required so now the quantity of cement required here is that one is one by five here we are not calculating uh, we are not adding it is uh, five plus one it is we are considering only one by five multiply by six for six point eight that is the uh, six point eight is the quantity of cement mortar is required then multiply by one four four zero and divide by 50 so total you are getting 39.2 bags of cement is required so uh, maybe some data extra data he will give in uh, some of the problems so no need to worry how much data is required that much only you to take it and you can solve it so now uh, maybe a uh, uh, few more problems are there maybe uh, in the assignment i'll give it you can solve that problems so now um, uh, the, the type of test we are going to conduct on the cement that we'll discuss one by one maybe this uh, you already studied in your uh, uh, UG BMT lab but still uh, it is a revision for you of course we have to cover all these uh, uh, different types of tests uh, cement uh, test on cement uh, um, how we are going to conduct it in the laboratory maybe in the first semester of mtech also we have covered uh, uh, this uh, different types of uh, tests on a cement uh, maybe uh, we'll go a little bit fast here because you already know this uh, maybe uh, once uh, the college will reopen uh, that time I'll take you to the lab and uh, I'll uh, give you the demo on the testing on cement different tests for our laboratory so you have a uh, two methods are there first one is field testing second one is laboratory testing field testing uh, field testing of course uh, here it is uh, very simple methods total different tests are uh, field tests are required here first one is uh, we can open the bag one one uh, different tests are there you can open one by one and you can calculate it open the bag and take a good look at the cement then it should not contain any visible lumps means visible item should not be there uniformity should be there 
color of the cement should be greenish gray of course the color should be always greenish gray that is very important then the cement should get cool feeling when it is thrusted second one fourth one when we touch the cement it should give a smooth and not a grit feeling means it should be fine and it should be like what uh, the powder which you will take it uh, and you will uh, take uh, uh, it's like a powder uh, when you take the powder and also the hand and if you rub it you will feel like a uh, uh, smooth feeling that kind of feeling you should get then when we throw the cement on a bucket full of water before it sinks the particle should flow that is very important La particle should not sink it should flow when we make a stiff uh, paste of cement and cut it with a sharp edges and kept on the glass plate under water there won't be any disturbance to the shape and should not get strength should get strength after 24 hours it's very easy and you can read it you can understand also maybe how conducted it but it's not in the laboratory but you can conduct it in your house also then a different laboratory tests are there the first one is a finest test second one is a standard consistency test the third one is a settling time test the fourth one is a strength test for fifth one is soundness test then uh, the fifth one is heat of hydration test and uh, the sixth one is chemical composition test maybe uh, this uh, different types of tests um, we will cover it in the next class uh, maybe we'll we'll go a little bit fast here because uh, this you already covered in your uh, ug classes thank you